Welcome to the AM Synth Studio. Today we're announcing 10 ARP 2500 modules for Eurorack. The designs are inspired by the lost ARP modules of 1970 and the engineering genius of Dennis Collin. Modules shipped from June will have Rogan control knobs with aluminium coloured inlays, just like the originals. Let's take a look at these exciting new modules. The AM1013 fixed filter bank is one of the lost ARP 2500 modules that never progressed to a prototype. It is a bank of eight bandpass filters with fixed frequencies and fixed Q that are set an octave apart. The 14 HP wide AM1013 is based around op amps and has eight bandpass filters starting at 63 Hz and reaching 8 kHz. The AM1026 preset voltages module is inspired by the AAP prototype. It provides 16 preset voltages in two channels with a preview push button for each row and eight position gate inputs on the front panel. The 18 HP wired module is very useful as it enables preset voltages to be stored and then recalled by a Behringer 1027 sequencer or by individual position gates in any random order. The 8 HP wired AM Synth 1028 replicates one con of the original ARP module with eight step positions driven by the gate position bus. The module has both 2 volt and 10 volt outputs for the fine control of oscillator pitch and the broad filter sweeps. The AM1028 is a great way to expand the Behringer 1027 and will be available with original ARP2500 control knobs. The AM1031 multipurpose filter module is a replica of a 12 dB state variable filter that Dennis Collin designed in 1975 and which ARP alluded to back in 1970. The module is 14 HP wide and has rotary controls for adjusting frequency cutoff and resonance with slide potentiometers for frequency and Q modulation. The filter has a circuit to provide dynamic resonance control to ensure the filter provides high Q factors without self-oscillation. The filter has the usual four modes that a state variable filter delivers, plus a peak mode which delivers excellent phasing effects. The AM1032 mixer and distributor is inspired by the ARP module that never progressed to a prototype stage. It is designed to be at the centre of a large modular system and can be very effective when used live. The 16 HP wide module takes inspiration from the routing control of the ARP1050 and integrates it into eight VCA channels, each with external voltage control and manual gain. The module can be used as an 8 into 1 audio mixer, with any or all of the eight inputs selected by illuminated push buttons. The intended output channel can also be selected, but only one at a time. The module can be used as a 1 into 8 audio signal distributor with any one input channel selected at a time and any or all of the output channels selected using the illuminated push buttons. The AM1032 can actually be used with both CV and audio signal. The AM1035 triple modulator is inspired by the prototype version of the ARP produced in 1970. It can be seen in the first 2500 synthesizer photograph. The module contains three independent balance modulators but without the six preamps of the original. Each input can be either DC or AC coupled and the modulators can be used as VCAs or as two input mixers with no modulation in addition to their ring modulation function. This module is already shipping. The AM1037 module is a dual voltage controlled envelope generator that replicates the RP original that was mentioned in the 1970 Tonus catalogue. The 14 HP wide module contains two identical ADSR envelope generators with stage timings from 3 milliseconds to 10 seconds. The slope of the stages can be continuously varied from linear to exponential using a front panel control knob. An illuminated push button or external gate signal activates each envelope independently or in parallel. The ADSR timings are just manually or can be voltage controlled by external signals. The 1042 triple VCA module is a replica of the 1042 that was mentioned in the Tonus catalogue in 1970. The 1042 has three transistor VCAs, each with two audio inputs and a CV input. I have replicated the additional feature of the 2600 where there are separate inputs for DC or AC coupled signals. DC coupling allows the use of CV signals once the AC input eliminates the offset of VCOs and offsets the signal around zero. This module is already shipping. The 1044 module never existed in the Tonus plans for the 2500, so strictly speaking it shouldn't be here. However, when researching the 1031 module, I came across a dual core VCO that Dennis Collin had designed. With the advantage of sync in and sync out, 
and a lower LFO range, this is an ideal match for the Behringer 1004 VCO. The AM1044 uses a triangle core to generate the triangle sign and pulse waveforms, with the second core creating the sawtooth. The pulse width is then derived from that triangle core. Each waveform has its own output, and there are jack sockets for sync in and out. The 1046 module is not mentioned in the 1970 Tonus catalogue, but it quickly made it into production shortly afterwards and became a core part of the 2500 system. It is a quad envelope generator that combines the functionality of the 1003 and the 1033 modules. The AM1046 replicates the original, but with additional features that make this an attractive module. An illuminated switch selects whether the envelopes in pairs have either faster or slower stage timings than the original, so that much longer envelope times can be generated or much shorter. Each ADSR has its own gate input, which allows independent or paired activation. An optional 4HP expander module provides a full set of sustain and trigger inputs, as well as the inverted outs from channel 2 and 4. Well, it's time to wrap up this video and for me to get back to the workshop. I hope you like the plans to expand the ARP2500 experience in Eurorack, and we welcome your comments and ideas. AMSense will launch these modules during 2024 and announce the availability on social media and our email list. 